drink, eat, listen. It's time for lunch. We're on New Garden Road and going to Gia. It's about to get hot in the kitchen. What are we doing right now? Our prosciutto and arugula scacciata. The Sicilian flatbread is one of Gia's signature snacks. We have our marinara, um, made in house, uh, mozzarella. Uh, we bring in whole milk and we grind it ourselves. Anders Benton knows the importance of homemade. Lessons learned growing up in the triad. And it's just good food. Good food made with care. It's the hospitality is, in my opinion, one of the kindest things you can do for a person. Give them something good to eat. Gia's executive chef started his career at a cafe. Took a shift um, working with my uncle at a fine dining restaurant over here in Greensboro. And then ever since then, it was fine dining for me. He came to Gia as part of the opening team, working his way up to head of the kitchen. Gia's a home for me because of, honestly, the freedom in comparison to most executive chef positions. Um, I am conscious of what this area likes. We do listen to our regulars. We're not just throwing out every weird idea I have in my head, but really it's allowed me to come into my own. The food, drinks, and atmosphere have made loyal fans in Greensboro and beyond. It's true modern American food. You know, we have a mixture of influences. Like the popular scacciata. Chef Benton doesn't see customers at the table, he sees family. Just making sure you're putting forward a good meal. You know, it doesn't always have to be new, it doesn't have to be cutting edge, it doesn't have to be modern, it just has to be good. And give someone the hospitality and the entertainment, essentially, that they come for for dinner, you know? And there you have it. The best way to enjoy Gia is to come visit them for brunch, lunch, or dinner. You can also come for a special event, a class, or takeout is available as well. Find out more by going to casabygia.com. Let's see.